Hello, welcome back to another video. I hope you like my earrings because they will be going all over the place. I made them hoping they'll match my shirt. I'm still wearing my pajamas. Because why not? I look good in pajamas too. Plus that's weird to change your whole outfit for a video if you're just gonna be sitting down. I didn't really do my hair today either, but you know, sexy regardless. I've made notes. You know, basically some form of script for this video. So if you see me looking, I'm looking at this, okay? So the thing is, I am aromantic asexual, arrow ace. Is that you? Comment below or don't but you should leave a like. Anyways, I'm a romantic asexual and somehow it's a, it surprises people that I'm happy and fine and okay that I'm a romantic asexual. People just don't seem to get it. They're like, oh no. And I'm like, what? <laughs> so with this video, I kind of want to talk about my experience fully realizing, like me fully grasping that I am aromantic asexual and coming to terms with that, you know, coming to peace, peace and love with that, just accepting it. You know, the hardships to come with finding peace with being aromantic asexual, because when you find something out about something that's new and confusing, and it's not really something that can just pop out and be super obvious to you, sometimes it's just confusing. And it can be scary when you're going against like heteronormative whatever rules that is usually expected of you. People have these ideas how each person should be and when you don't fit it, it can be a little stressful. Mostly annoying. You find something new about yourself or something different about yourself and it's like, oh my gosh, am I okay? And in this case, finding out that you're aromantic and or asexual, it is okay. It's normal. I mean, it's not normalized, but it's normal, you know? It's okay to be scared of it. It's okay to be confused by it, you know, from the get-go. Aerorace is a mixed term for folks who are both on the aromantic and asexual spectrum, for anyone who doesn't know. And aromantic is a person who experiences little or no romantic attraction to anyone. Asexual is a person who experiences little to no sexual feelings or desires, or who is not sexually attracted to anyone. In my case, I think I'm gray sexual. That's where I stand on the asexual spectrum because it is a spectrum. I used to think I was completely asexual. And then as I grew up, you know, in my 20s, I was like, oh, I'm actually not a that asexual as I thought. And at first it was a little embarrassing to come to terms with that because it's like, ew, sexuality? That's embarrassing. <laughs> and even then I'm still like the labels is not ironed into my skin. You know, I can still peel it off and find a, a better label that suits me better if I feel the need to. But right now, I think that gray sexual suits me. And on the aromantic part, I think I'm all the way or aromantic. It's pretty much impossible for people to be 100% of anything. But in my case, I would say I'm at least 99, 98, 97 because people trying to be romantic with me is very repulsive to me, even though I don't find romance in general repulsive i like it like just a couple minutes ago i almost started crying mainly because i'm on my cycle but i almost started crying because there was like a a couple and she made a song for him and he started crying i was like oh my gosh they're so in love they i don't want that you know it's like i can appreciate love and not want it like how straight guys will appreciate captain america and um, they'll appreciate the heck out of him. But do they want him? I don't know, maybe some of them. But it's very possible to appreciate something and not want it. On to the next thing. When I first really grasped that I was Arrow Ace, it was a sad time. It was a sad experience. I was sad that I thought I would have to be alone and I thought that I was gonna die alone and I thought it must suck to not have someone to come home to every day like a partner or a relationship if i force myself in a relationship it's gonna be miserable it would be miserable because who i would treat them like a friend because if i'm not gonna want to hug you kiss you do all those things with you we're basically friends it seemed like almost everywhere you go or most people who can feel that type of attraction and who has felt that type of attraction they're like oh my gosh 
it's the best feeling in the world. It's like the best feeling that anybody can go through, you know, finding love, being romanced. So yeah, I was super sad. I was depressed. I was like, oh, no, I'm gonna die alone. I'm gonna be sad forever because that's what everyone else is telling me that I'm gonna be sad and die alone. And then I snapped out of it. Like mostly when I snapped out of the depression, grew more and realized more. And I was just like, stop, get off the floor. You're being dramatic. You're just being sad. You're not gonna die alone. You can be loved and you can love. Okay, shut up. <laughs> you're overthinking the whole, you're gonna die alone thing. Stop. You airways freak are just as capable as being loved and loving just as anyone else. Okay, you. You. But yeah, you can feel love and be in love. It's just gonna be in a, in a non-romantic or sexual way. But yeah, you don't have to be in a relationship. You can find love and family members and friends and pets. And guess what? Other freaks in the world and on the internet who are also heroes or not. It could just be people on the internet. Those people could fill up the love bar for you. It, you don't need to be in a relationship to get that love. But even living with someone, you don't have to live alone. You don't have to be in a relationship to live with someone. Because people are just like, oh my gosh, you're not going to be in a relationship? You're going to live alone and that means you're going to die alone. And it's like, no, I'm not going to die alone unless you want to. Do you, boo-boo. Ooh. <laughs> But you don't have to die alone i mean what you don't have to live alone you can literally get a roommate or you can just have people visit you all the time if you want to you can still live with your family if you feel comfortable to or you can literally get a qpr which is a queer platonic relationship which i will put up the definition right here There you go. You know, there's multiple options. So you don't live alone if you don't want to, or you can literally live alone if you want to. When I was going through that whole, I'm gonna be alone forever phase, uh, that still comes and goes sometimes. That's more of a me thing than a Aeroace thing. But yeah, I was just feeling very lonely because I didn't have any friends. And that is why I was so obsessed and devastated at the idea of being airways and being alone and not having someone. It was because I didn't have any friends, but I had just, I had eventually realized that it was friends that I wanted, not a, a, a relationship of any kind. It's still nice to know that QPRs exist and that I can still have one if I want to. It's nice to know that as an option and I can share it with you guys for anyone who wants it. On another note, it's hard to accept being airways when there's people almost constantly around you or on the internet. Like say like you're using like a like an app to find friends and then there's some people who are just like airways. That's not real. Growing up, hearing that a lot, it can kind of like mess with your brain because it's like, maybe it's not real. Maybe I'm not Aeroise and I'm just faking it or forcing it upon myself like everyone else says. And then you realize, oh, those people are just actually ignorant and they don't know what they're talking about at all. And then there's some people who feels bad. Like, oh no, you're gonna be alone. You're not gonna ever find love. And it's like, that's the point. I don't want to find love. And then they're like, but what if you will or do? And it's like, shut up. Shut up. <laughs> then there's people who just like give you like the side eye. You know, basically look at you like you're a freak because there's like, what? You don't want to be in love? You don't want to have a romantic and sexual relationship with someone? And you're just like, no. You can try your best, or if you want to, if you have the energy to, to educate them, you know, to help them not be ignorant. If, even if you do and they still reject you, or they still reject that you're airways, fuck them, you know? But literally though, that would go against the rules, of the airways rules. Instead of letting them make you feel, make you feel bad, make them feel bad by laughing at their face. Cause it's, it's like so laughable that they're like, 
but you're like, yeah, I'm Mary Louise. And they're like, no, you're not. Like, <laughs> even though I don't be understanding why people don't get like the whole idea of airways, like it's not that hard. There's some people who want to have a sexual and, real and romantic relationship. And then there's some people who don't. There's some people who likes green and there's some people who don't like green. Not every human is gonna function the same exact way. I don't, it's not like, I'm not trying to convince you that I'm a dog. Like, I'm not trying to convince you of anything crazy, of anything illogical that goes against science in any way. Like, I'm not going against anything, but you. Educate yourself? I don't know. But anyways, yeah. Be you. Be a romantic asexual. And I have a secret to tell you. I used to be anti-LGBTQ. I used to be homophobic. And I used to be Christian. And now I'm not. I used to say stuff like, I'm asexual, but I'm not part of the LGBTQ. Or I'm asexual, but I don't support the LGBTQ. I don't remember what I used to say, but that was years ago. Well, it wasn't that much years ago. It was like when I was probably 18 or 19, but don't tell anybody. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry I used to be that way. But yeah, I used to think that way. Honestly, even when I thought that way, it was literally torture because, you know, being homophobic and all that, and all that was felt like it was killing me it was killing me being believing in a lot of christian beliefs and believing that you know all gay people go to hell it used to torture me like i was you know desperately trying to find ways to to prove that it's not a sin and all that because it was just i it used to kill me all the time i had friends who were like gay and all that and i loved them i used to cry all the time for all the gaybies who were i thought were going to hell but basically i stopped being anti-queer once accepting the lgbtq like fully accepting not thinking they're a sin not being like i love them but they're all gonna burn in hell i wasn't i wasn't like that anymore and once i stopped being that and fully love and fully accept them us <laughs> i'm part of it like i felt like a weight was off my shoulder a part of me was happy with myself again, happy for others, and being able to love others in a way that I've never been able to love them before, or never been allowed to love them before. It was very hypocritical, really. It's like, I'm part of the LGBTQ, but not really. <laughs> you, younger me. <laughs> Just kidding. I was young. I was in a process of, of growing, okay? You gotta allow yourself to grow. So for no longer having a problem with queerness, it allowed me to not have a problem with myself. It allowed me to be comfortable in my queerness and allowed me to be myself and be comfortable with myself to the point where I'm still growing, I'm still learning, I'm still figuring things about myself that I wasn't allowed to or I didn't understand before. We all have place to grow. And I'm happy to grow, happy to be alive, and I look forward to living to grow. Like my plants. Speaking of plants, I'm gonna show you one of them, okay? My nice ones. Ugh, flowers freaking stink. Why do they look like that? I, I kind of feel bad. I kind of want to put them outside for the bees, you know? Because they have like pollen and stuff. It's like they're supposed to be outside. But I'm keeping these plants prisoner. You're my prisoner and I love you. Back to the subject. In the space that I am now, I can't really be as open as I would like to. And yeah, that kind of sucks. You know, I know that eventually I'll be able to be as open as I want and be as comfortable as I want with myself and be open with who I am or who I may be and all that kind of stuff or who i want to be i don't know do you know i will when i feel safe to do so or comfortable to do so and i recommend that people do the same you know do things you know be open with yourself when you feel safe and comfortable too if you don't have like a like a home presence like people at home or friends i mean first of all you really shouldn't be friends with people who don't accept you in that way there are like queer communities that is amazing and it's great and I love them. I try to be part of it when I go on Discord and all that, but I'm so shy. 
frick you awkwardness, shyness, my introvertness. There's a community out there and it's great and they'll love to have you. Go where you can feel safe and comfortable. You know, maybe you can secretly find some ways to be open to the world about who you are by rings or the way you do your nails or pens. I actually made a pen. I made this pen and I wear it when I want to. You know, sometimes I still feel a little weird wearing it. I do feel like sometimes I'll be a little judged and all that wearing it in public, except when I go to college. Like I walk on campus, I don't really try to hide it as much because I'm just like, what if there's a possibility that someone is the same as me? And plus, because of the colors, it's not really the most obvious. But at the same time, we have a color scheme like that with like stripes. It's kind of obvious. Something that could be less obvious is like a bracelet color or like colors on earrings or something like that. But when it's aligned and like straight lines, that's super obvious or at least to me, that there's something queer going on. Remember that you're not alone, okay? You can love and be loved just as much as anyone else. And you can find that love in family, in friends, in a pet, in people on the internet or in a community. You know, there's so many places that you can find and feel love, okay? Just because you're aromantic and or asexual, does that not mean, does not mean that you're unworthy of love and you cannot be loved. If you think you want a QPR, a queer platonic relationship, look into that. If you don't, that's also fine. Not everybody wants to be in any form of relationship. You can be totally fine with just having friends or family, or maybe you do enjoy being completely alone and that is okay. Is it? I don't know, maybe, I'm sure there's people who dig that. Remember, don't force yourself to be in relationships. If someone likes you, you don't have to reciprocate their feelings and you don't have to feel bad for not being able to reciprocate them. They gotta learn, not everybody's gonna like them. It's okay to be lonely. It's okay to be scared. It happens to a lot of people, most people, in fact. And you know, you just gotta figure out ways to get through that because you don't wanna get around it. You want to get through it if you have the energy to and if you can you know you can try your best but never give up okay you're normal and you're okay just the way you are so yeah that's basically it um this video is really for people who are struggling to find peace or comfort or love for themselves for being aromantic and asexual and or and this video could be for anybody who needs that help or needs that perspective on finding peace with themselves with being arrowways. I have other videos on arrowways topics and if you're interested in that, you can watch them. If you want to watch me play games, I have a second channel. You can also follow me on Instagram if you want to see pictures of me. <laughs> I like my outfits or I don't know if you want to follow me on Instagram. If you even made it this far in this video, you can comment love in the comments and i would really appreciate it i mean i appreciate anybody who even clicked on my videos because then i can appreciate that they at least liked my thumbnail maybe they thought it was cute <laughs> comment about your experiences and comment if you're struggling with finding peace with yourself or how you have found peace peace oh, no comment if you have found peace with yourself Goodbye. Did I just make a weird face this time? I don't know.